Hello, my name is Shelly Terrell, and I'm really glad to have my guest today, which is uh, Johnny Kisco, and he's all the way in Texas. And today we're going to talk about his wonderful community insight for teachers and students and um, even programmers. And this is based on Connect. So can you tell us a little about Connect, the software, the tools? Yes, uh, the Connect is... Um it's an, it's, it was made and originally designed for the Xbox 360, and what people have done is they have figured out ways to actually develop uh, applications to use on the PC, and I do believe Mac support is coming as well. Um, Microsoft has also recently announced that they're going to offer the software development kit uh, for non-commercial purposes for anybody uh, to download and access and program things with. And so what that means for education is that these these applications, these gesture-based uh, learning software, can can actually be used on the PC and be integrated in classrooms? And I would I would like to provide that at, at no charge for anybody. I want anybody to register and sign up on the site. Okay, so you said this is based on gesture-based learning. Can you tell us um, w when they have this kind of a software? What can they actually do on the PC? Well, right now it's, it's very preliminary, uh, but there's some software out there that, that will allow you to actually control your Windows or, or Mac operating system just through gestures. Uh, for example, there's Kinemote, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. It allows you to actually use your hand motions to navigate with your mouse, and you can click things and, and move things around just by using your hands. And so that's just what what people have done right now and this is just the beginning. There was like a PC game and we had to knock balls away or something like that. I could do my hand gestures from all the way over here and it would work the game from yes. my computer. Any, uh -huh. any game, not a Kinect game. I, I believe so and, and where that would come in is, is just driver support with the, it would, the, the driver would have to be integrated for that actual game. So if you had someone out there that's willing to modify the code for the driver, I believe, and I, I, I think I'm right on this, is that they could actually manipulate that to work with any game that, that you have already. Okay, so you could take things like a word magnets or something and actually move it, um, even right now, without doing anything except having the Connect software. That's correct. In, in fact, I, I went online and found a, a Flash-based refrigerator magnet game just to mess around with. And I could actually move the letters and, and make words out of it just by using my hands. It was a little glitchy right now because there's certain mouse settings that, that you have to change, but uh, it, was, it was fun to do. It's pretty neat. So you want to take with your community this kind of software and have it to where it supports uh, kind of this gesture-based learning inside the a classroom, yes? Yes, yes. I think if you... Uh, Especially here in the U.S., if you look at your normal classroom, you have so many parameters influencing your your day-to-day -day interaction, and you have so many teachers that have innovative ideas, but the the opportunity just isn't there. We have standardized assessments. I have to make sure that I'm teaching uh, standards so that when an administrator walks in, they can see exactly what I'm teaching. You have, you have the same classrooms we've had for about 200 years, and what I'm what I'm suggesting with the Connect is is not to design a new classroom, but just to kind of give our classrooms a new identity so that maybe here in the U.S., your administrators can still walk in, you can still have that structure you need, but the kids are actually up and about moving around and you don't have to go to your administrators or go through those bureaucratic channels to get approval to go on a field trip when it's right there in front of you. How would I make this kind of game-based kind of learning, how would, in the gesture-based, how would I make it to where it applied to, uh, for example, a standard? Okay. Uh, a couple of ways. For one, you could see yourself on the screen shooting hoops, but it wouldn't be you. It would actually be an avatar that you're controlling. So that's a great way to just flat out engage any learner is just to see them as Michael Jordan or you know, some, some other famous basketball player. But secondly, what the Kinect can do is it can actually interpret angles and measurements and things like that. So... If you were to shoot a hoop and uh, you wanted to see the, the arch that you shot it at, it could actually calculate that on, on the fly. So that's where I think you could build some relevancy is, is interpreting the, the meaning behind angles. I'm a math teacher, so that's, that's kind of the perspective I'm coming from. I'm sure there's a ton of other ways to teach it with other content areas too. 
Okay, so your community right now is trying to make that merge between having the educators, the students also, and the developers all come together so that way we can make sure that it, it's really like a supporting objectives in learning. Yes, and in fact, we have a, I've got a huge base of students right now. I've got several develop developers, but where we're, I'm kind of lacking is with, uh, with, with the educators. And I think that's just because most of us see the, the Connect as a gaming tool, and it is a gaming tool, but there's going to be huge implications for education over the next couple of years. It's very preliminary right now, but what I'm advocating for is, is to start developing that community, be proactive with our approach, and that way when it finally comes, we've already got this community built and can, uh, can take it to the next level. Where's the website that they can go into? And uh, can you walk us into like the registration process for that? <laughs> yes. Okay. So the website is connecteducation.com. That's K-I-N-E-C-T and then education. Uh, at, at the upper right-hand panel, there's a link that says join the community. And that will take you to the forums. And that's where the community interaction is. The front page is really more, uh, it showcases classroom examples of how people are using the Connect, how developers have programmed the Connect to do outstanding things. Uh, there's an about page that kind of describes the project in more details. Uh, but for, for teachers and students and educators to really get involved, uh, you need to join the community. It's free. It, I've never, it, I'll never charge for it. That's not the intent behind the site. Um, but right now, I'm getting so much, so much spam. So right now, I'm having to uh, go in and handpick uh, and, and approve people. So if I can tell you're not spam, then you're going to be on real quick. There's already software up there, and it's open software. So teachers could actually get things that have already been programs, like programs out there that are already existing, and they could use it and tweak it. That's correct. Uh, there's the, the open source mu movement is huge, but like you were saying, it's very hard to compile that source code. Fortunately, some people have, have compiled it and prepackaged it into programs that you can download for any operating system. And that's where I'm noticing a lot of the click-throughs are going to or for links and software like that. But there's one uh, gentleman out of Japan, I believe, that created a, an application where it, this just kind of demonstrates what you can do. He, you stand in front of the computer, and then it would read where you are, and you throw your hands up in the air like that, and it will detect yourself and, and make you into a superhero of some sort. You'll turn red, and then you'll get this huge, like, thing on your head like a like a I don't know a boomerang and then you can just sit there and throw it. it and I don't know really that's not really relevant in the classroom but it's really more of a proof of concept of where this community is going so that's that's one of the open source uh, applications that's been provided but also compiled for teachers to just freely download and use on any uh, Windows based operating system. In the future, do you see that when becoming part of the community and having this form, that the teachers will actually collaborate with maybe a student or a developer they meet in the form and come up with something that's really uh, something like that and figure out a great application for the classroom? I think so. I, I really would like the educators and, and developers and students to communicate. Developers know how to do it, the teachers also understand the parameters of how that would fit within the classroom and how that applies to, to individual standards. And the students, they know what's fun. Uh, so all those people collaborating together can build some amazing applications for classroom integration. A majority of this is your time and um, your investment. So um, if there happen to be any uh, supporters out there who would like to talk to Johnny, they can and um, be able to show how they can really just help you and. Uh, get the word out and also um, just kind of support this project as a whole. So where would they contact you? Uh, they can just email me, uh, Johnny, J-O-H-N-N-Y dot Kisco, K-I-S-S-K-O at gmail dot com. And uh, I'll, I check my email frequently so I can get back to you as, as soon as possible. And also um, they could connect with you on Twitter at Johnny Education. Yeah. And also yes. on the website, um, I saw there is a Facebook community as well. Yes, and that's I'm really trying to build that right now because, as you know, most students, uh, kids especially, they, they really use the, the Facebook news feed. So any update that goes on through the site will actually be updated through the news feed as well. 
Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. It's been fantastic. Thank you, Sally.